Faridabad is the largest city in terms of population in the North India state of Haryana. It is a leading industrial centre and situated in the national capital region bordering the Indian capital New Delhi. Located 284 kilometres south of the state capital Chandigarh, it is the most populous city in the state of Haryana. The river Yamuna forms the eastern district boundary with Uttar Pradesh. Government of India included it in the second list of Smart Cities Mission on 24 May 2016. Faridabad has been described as eighth fastest growing city in the world and third most in India by City Mayor's Foundation Survey. The newly developed residential and industrial part of Faridabad sec. 66 to 89 between the Agra Canal and the Yamuna River is commonly referred as Greater Faridabad. The area is being developed as a self-sustained sub-city with wide roads, tall buildings, malls, educational institutions, and health and commercial centers. Sectors 66 to 74 are industrial sectors whereas sectors 75 to 89 are residential sectors. Faridabad is also a major industrial hub of Haryana. 50% of the income tax collected in Haryana is from Faridabad and Gurgaon. Faridabad is famous for henna production from the agricultural sector, while tractors, motorcycles, switch gears, refrigerators, shoes, tires and garments constitute its primary industrial products. In 2018, Faridabad was considered by the World Health Organization as the world's second most polluted city. History The modern phase of the city was begun under the Pakistani Refugee Resettlement Project, with the foundations of industrial development being founded here by 1950. Geography <laughs> 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 Faridabad has a borderline hot semi-arid climate just short of a dry winter humid subtropical climate The city features the three typical Indian seasons. The hot or pre-monsoon season lasts from late March to late June and is typified by sweltering and arid conditions that begin very dry but latterly turn humid. The wet or monsoon season is sweltering and often dangerously humid with frequent but erratic heavy rainfall. Following the retreat of the monsoon is the cool or winter season with warm and sunny weather producing by far the most comfortable conditions. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administration. The list is as below. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Economy. The Faridabad Small Industries Association claims that Faridabad and Gurgaon districts account for almost 56% of the income tax collected in Haryana. Faridabad has been selected as one of the hundred Indian cities to be developed as a smart city under PM Narendra Modi's flagship Smart Cities mission. Taxation <laughs> 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 Faridabad's share in total VAT collection in the state was 17% in 2012-13. For the same period, Faridabad's contribution to central sales tax was 15% and to entertainment tax was 13%. == <laughs> Agriculture Faridabad is the largest exporter of henna Mahandi in India. According to the Faridabad Henna Manufacturing Association, the sale of henna from Faridabad is worth an estimated 250 crore rupees, 35 million dollars, 300 crore rupees, 42 million dollars annually. Topic Central Government Offices Many directorates of different union government ministries are headquartered in Faridabad including Central Ground Water Board, Department of Plant Quarantine and Central Insecticide Lab, and union government offices from Haryana including the Commissioner of Central Excise within Department of Revenue, Government of India, Department of Explosives, and Department of Labour. 
Institutes such as National Council for Cement and Building Materials, a research and development institute under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, has its head office in Faridabad. The Apex Central Training Institute of the Department of Revenue, Government of India, National Academy of Customs, Excise and Narcotics is located at Sector 29. The National Power Training Institute, an autonomous body under Ministry of Power, Government of India, has a corporate office in Faridabad. The city also hosts the National Institute of Financial Management, which serves as training academy for accounting and financial services. Also headquartered here is NHPC Limited, which is a central PSU under Ministry of Power, Government of India, and the largest hydro power company in India. Topic Industries Faridabad is the industrial capital of Haryana. As of 2013, out of total 11,665 registered working factories in Haryana, 2,499 were in Faridabad which was followed by Gurgaon with 2,116 factories. According to a study, growth of Faridabad has been declining in last two decades, share of Faridabad in investment is less than 1% and 93% of investment is in paper industry. The industrial contribution of Faridabad to Haryana's revenue was declined from 29% to 22% in 2012-13. Faridabad is home to large-scale companies like Escorts Limited, India Yamaha Motor Private Limited, Havels India Limited, JCB India Limited, Indian Oil R&D, Larson and Tubro L&T, Whirlpool India Limited, AB Group, Goodyear India Limited, Bata India Limited and Iker Tractor Limited and Bebay Kidswear Eyewear E Taylor Lenskart and Healthcare Startup Librate have their headquarters in Faridabad. More than 5000 units of auto parts producers are based in Faridabad. Lakhani Arman Group has set up manufacturing facilities at Faridabad, Haryana. Transportation and connectivity Rail Faridabad is on the broad gauge of the New Delhi-Mumbai line. New Delhi and Hazrat Nizamuddin Railway Station is about 25 km away from Old Faridabad Railway Station. The trains for big cities like Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai are easily accessible from here. Local trains runs between New Delhi to Faridabad. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Metro. Delhi Metro Violet Line connects Faridabad with Delhi. The extension of Violet Line to Faridabad was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 6 September 2015. There are nine metro stations in Faridabad corridor of Delhi Metro which are all elevated. Metro has been recently elongated to Balabgar with the addition of two stations San Sirtas Sihi and Raja Nahar Singh Balabgar. Haryana government is also planning to link Faridabad and Gurgaon by metro. Currently the Faridabad corridor of Delhi Metro Violet Line is the longest metro corridor in the National Capital Region NCR consisting of 11 stations and the total length of corridor being 14 km. The 11 metro stations are Sarai, NHPC Chowk, Miwala Maharajpur, Sector 28, Badkal Moor, Old Faridabad, Neelam Chowk Ajranda, Bata Chowk, Escorts Muhesar, San Sirtas Sihi and Raja Nahar Singh. Topic. Road Faridabad is well connected with Delhi through Delhi Faridabad Skyway Badarpur flyover. Topic. Airways Faridabad is served by Indira Gandhi International Airport, New Delhi which is around 35 km from Faridabad. The airport is one of the busiest airports in India and provides domestic and international air connectivity. Demographics As per 2011 census, Faridabad had a population of 1,404,653 out of which males were 750,446 and females were 654,207. The literacy rate was 83.04%. Topic: Education <inaudible> 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 
Topic: Schools. Faridabad has a large number of private schools. Schools like Delhi Public School, Iker School Sector 46, Manav Rachna International School, St. John's School, APJ School and Modern Vidya Nikitan, Sector 17 are among the top 10 schools in the city. Schools in Faridabad are affiliated either with the All India Council for the Indian School Certificate Examinations or the Central Board for Secondary Education boards. The language of instruction is English or Hindi. Besides these there are many government-run public schools which are administered by Haryana Board of School Education. There are also three Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan schools in the city which are affiliated to Central Board for Secondary Education and are run by central government. Some of the institutes for primary and secondary education are <laughs> Higher education There are numerous educational institutions in Faridabad that offer higher education courses. These colleges provide courses in different fields like science, medicine, arts, commerce, engineering, MCA, etc. Some of the colleges that offer graduate and undergraduate courses include <laughs> Healthcare There are many private and government hospitals in Faridabad. The city also has one government medical college hospital named Employees State Insurance Corporation Medical College, Faridabad. Sports Cricket The cricket stadium in the city is Nahar Singh Stadium has a seating capacity of approximately 25,000 and has hosted eight international cricket matches and a league cricket match between Mumbai Heroes and Bhojpuri Dabang of Celebrity Cricket League. Tourism Badkal Lake Badkal Lake was located in Badkal village, 8 km from Delhi border. The lake fringed by Aravalli Hills was a man-made embankment which has now dried up. The lake complex, spread over 40 acres, had come up in 1969. In June 2015, Haryana government decided to revive the Badkal Lake here to once again attract tourists. Topic. Sirajkund Tourist Complex and International Crafts Fair Situated at a distance of around 8 km from South Delhi. It is a 10th century water reservoir which believed to be built by Tomar King Sirajpal, places known for its annual fair, Sirajkund International Crafts Mela. 2015 edition of fair was visited by 1.2 million visitors including 160,000 foreigners with more than 20 countries participating in fair. The Siraj Kund Lake here is surrounded by rock cut steps. 2016 edition of Siraj Kund International Crafts Mela will be the 30th edition and People's Republic of China will be participating in the fair. Participation of the China will be the part of agreement signed between India and China in 2014 to celebrate year 2016 as Year of China in India. Topic: <inaudible> Anangpur Dam. The Anagpur Dam, located close to the Anagpur village, also called Arangpur, in Faridabad district of Haryana, India, is 2 kilometers (1.2 miles) away from the more famous Sirajkund. This unique Indian hydraulic engineering structure was built during the reign of King Anangpal of the Tomar dynasty in 8th century. It is approachable by road from Delhi from the Delhi Mathura road. The ruins of the fortifications found in Anangpur village establishes by an inference that it was built by Anangpal as part of the Lal Khat that was developed as the first city of Delhi in the 8th century. <laughs> <laughs> Death Valley Siraj Kund Religious <laughs> sites <laughs> 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 
Utilities Faridabad has been selected as one of the 100 smart cities in India. A live talk show on making Faridabad a smart city was organized at Municipal Corporations Auditorium. Haryana Power Generation Corporation Limited HPGCL is setting up a solar power plant at the site of a defunct thermal power plant in Faridabad. The power generator plans to set up the plant over 151.78 acres near Bata Chauk in the district that generated coal-based energy in the past. Environment A petition was filed with National Green Tribunal for protection of Aravalli from Faridabad waste disposal. Notable people Mahender Pratap Singh, Indian politician Rahul Dalal, B. 1992 cricketer Krishan Pal Gurur, politician Hamani Kapoor, B. 1988 singer Nikhil Nanda, industrialist Sonu Nigam, B. 1973 playback singer Ajay Ratra, B. 1981 former international cricketer Mahesh Rawat, B. 1985 cricketer Anissa Sayed, shooter Richa Sharma, B. 1980 playback and devotional singer Avtar Singh Badana, politician Rahul Tawatia, cricketer Haryana Kings XL Punjab, from Sihi village Lalit Nagar, politician, MLA from Tagan constituency equals equals see also